I hate doing chores. Responsibilities. Do you want my sandwich? Uh, Dude, your face is hungry. Avocado on my face? Um, naturally, it might be a booger. Oh, man. <laughs> So we're now in San Francisco and from what we can see, people are not wearing their masks outdoors but they are supposed to wear their mask when they go indoors. Also, can I show you my earrings? They're from buy invite only and they're like the best. If you are going to San Francisco Be sure to wear some flowers in your hair The place used to be a huge chocolate factory established by Domenico Domingo Ghirardelli. When the ownership of the factory changed in the 1960s, more unique shops and restaurants started to operate and that is why Ghirardelli Square is definitely worth visiting. Here's Z and I choosing some chocolates to bring home to his family in Utah. The options are endless. Got us one of these. Chocolate chip cookie. Girardelli chocolate chip cookie. Is it good? I love this chocolate chip. It like breaks away so nicely in your mouth. It doesn't stick to your teeth. It's the best part. <laughs> Say hi to Singapore. Hello, Singapore. I love what these displays. Oh my god, I hope it's open. Yes! We found it! First dim sum house in USA since 1920. Check it out. This is a um, highly recommended bean curd roll. It's filled with shrimp paste on the inside. The outside is a lot thinner um, than I expected, but it's very flavorful. Okay, the hakao looks like hakao. The skin definitely could be thinner. The flavor is peppery. Actually, the filling is not as loose as I was hoping, but it's still very, very good. The XLBs come in a little like tin. So cute. Mm, the skin is too thick. Cheers with beef. Tina says request. I just wanted the cheds and this is maybe a bit much. <laughs> it is. I think we have to tap out. Yeah. And um, mala wontons. I really don't taste mala. But the flavor is good. The pork is very flavorant. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this. So number one, I can't believe we finished that. That was a lot of food. <laughs> um, but I think my favorite was the, was it crispy prawn? Yeah, like, it was a crispy soy bean curd skin. Yeah, that was my favorite just because it's like crunchy, but also very flavorful. It's very flaky, right? Yeah, I like that. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't go to America and expect like Asian Asian food, right? Surely, you know, flavors have evolved to suit American people's taste buds as well. But overall, we really liked it, didn't we? It was really nice. Okay, so last night we had to drive out of San Francisco. We had to find a place that would, you know, 
allow us to dump our black water tank again. We're dumping it once every five days. Also, it's time to do laundry. Oh man. <sighs> this is where we start our laundry and um, we find that these are the easiest because they're basically dry sheets. We can just throw one in with a, any load and it's sustainable too. So today we're doing our laundry at an RV park. Um, we're gonna use their laundromat. It's basically two laundry machines. One is a washer, the other one's a dryer. It'll take us about two hours and while that's happening, we're gonna just work, upload videos. So we are on our way to try some of the famous chowder recommended to us um, by locals and Singaporeans alike. Hog Island Oyster Company. It's just an island of hogs and they're eating oysters. Got it. That's where we're going. God, this is so cool. Can we get one? Of course. Oh, I want a tea egg also. Can we get two marbled tea eggs and one vegetarian bun, please? Oh, yum. Whoa, shook. As you can see, this place is very crowded. Obviously, we have come to the right place. So if you're at the Hog Island Oyster Bar, the clam chowder is very, very popular. The other thing that's very popular apparently is the shrimp or oyster po' boy sandwich, which we're not going to be ordering today because there's too much food already. Salted vegetable, mm. but peppery, slightly spicy. Yeah, my mm. second bite was better, but mm. still just okay. Now we're going to try the clam chowder from Hog Island Oyster Co. Whoa! It's chock full of seafood. Wow. I mean, when you say chock full, it is seriously chock full. How do you even start eating this? I don't it's like little, know. little bits by little bits. Okay, I got a little bit of clam and a little bit of sauce. Oh, it's creamy and very flavorful and the clams they don't have grit in them it's super fresh you're gonna love it Zina doesn't like seafood very much unless it is fresh i'm so excited mm, okay it's so flavorful right? yeah i could go for that that's very nice i'm so excited for you to eat because then i can eat again <laughs> but you know what what I like the Seattle chowder better. Yeah, me too! Oh my god! So the consistency of the Hog Island Oyster Co. chowder is like more watery. Whereas the Seattle Pike Place chowder is like creamy, thick, like melted cheese almost, right? Yeah. It's so rich. Not far from Ferry Building Marketplace is a shopping center. Pier 39. It's a very popular attraction for both tourists and locals due to its spectacular view of the city's bay. Of course, I couldn't help but notice the cute sea lions hauled out on the docks. So cute, huh? We drove out of San Francisco a little bit to a place called Sausalito and now we're gonna have Thai food because Uncle Z is more Asian than me. <laughs> he loved curry a lot. It's true. <laughs> we decided to eat simply for dinner because lunch was a full bowl of cream, you know, chowder. Okay, let's take a look at this green curry. It's extra green. 
It's me. Yeah, I guess, right? We should try this it. This is my best. <laughs> we'll try. Oh, it's fragrant AF. Wow. That is not basil. It's very sweet. It's sweet. That's spicy. It's very sweet. It's is definitely it? an Americanized flavor. Mm, the, yeah. the addition of a lot of sugar. <laughs> But it's got bamboo shoots, which is not a vegetable you see in Thai curries in Singapore. I'm not complaining. Yeah, because you love bamboo shoots. I love bamboo shoots. They're my favorite. So on the last episode, Zena's put a ring on it. Now we're gonna go to the um, ring store to get it resized. So it's freaking tricky to find a parking space in San Francisco. The signs do not make sense. And when you think you got lucky with a slot, they still do not make sense. It's very frustrating. For example, this one says no stopping 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. You're like, oh, okay, so now it's like 12 noon, we can park. Wrong. No stopping 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Why you don't just put whole day from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. cannot park? Wow, eh? Dem tulan, right? And that's not even the most difficult sign we've seen. I can't even resize my ring in peace. Feel like falling deeper, caught a nice night, no more shit on. Kids are eating and no more kid on. Just a mess, how do you see go? Get them an hour and go to the hymn. So we're done with our ring, and we realize that we're super close to Chinatown. So we noticed people were walking in the street. It's off the, the main street and everything. And we discovered the Golden Gate Fortune Cookie Factory. I'm so happy we came. <laughs> I'm like, why are people here? Wow. Buy some for your mom? Okay. Why do you got no sambal? Oh, lagama! I want it. You want? Yeah, get the small one. Oh, that makes me so happy. But sambal or not? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would. Oh. Straight up, the bun is like super sweet. <laughs> I haven't even like bitten into it and I already know the bun is way too sweet. The bun is not as fluffy as I'd like it to be. And the insides, it's not moist enough and that makes it not as good as I want. Mm. So. Wow, look at us, food critic. Oh no, no. Wow. irritating or not? No, everything now. <laughs> know it all. No. So there's a Facebook group called um, Singaporeans in America and I reached out on that platform um, to find Singaporeans that have moved to America, uh, specifically San Francisco, and one of them responded, so she's gonna take us out tonight. She came to get us, so we're just parked somewhere at the side and we're gonna get in her car. Thank you so much for coming to get us. Tian has been living in SF for a decade now, ever since she attended uni in Berkeley and is currently working in a startup. For dinner, she brought us to a local favorite spot called The Mission. Like, how cool is that? The Mission. This is where all the fun stuff happens, apparently. There are bars, good food, upbeat music. You know the drill. It's kind of like Haji Lane or Katong area in Singapore, you know, damn hipster. We went to a Latin American restaurant called El Techo, where we got to dine on their rooftop patio. Shook le. Afterwards, she drove us around Lombard Street, yes, that zigzag one. And since it was at night, we didn't get to catch much of the view, but it was a fun time nonetheless. Thank you so much for taking us out. Have fun. 
This is your dream, isn't it? I've been wanting to ride a trolley for like <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> this is cool. Grab a small little large and solve last for yourself. Very good? Everybody should, no, 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 I mean like grab it for free. Oh my no. god, no, come Everybody on. Everybody deserves to try one. No, okay. let's give you something for it. Like how well, much is it? Well, then give me like put a, a dollar in the tip jar. Then. All right. Thank you so much. Nice. I got the pink lady. I got the Arkansas black. Let's try. Cheers. Ooh, a little bit tart, but also sweet. Great flavor. This one is also a little bit tart. It's unique. I can't even like explain it. We should exchange apples. There's like veiny stuff in there. What I mean, hey. Oh wow, that is unique. I imagine you want to make desserts with this because you get the apple flavor come out yeah. more or something. It's like a little bit more woody as well. Like it has a de more depth of flavor. Yeah, exactly that. It was time for another touristy thing. How can you go to SF and not go to one of the most famous prisons in the world, Alcatraz Island? This island used to house a maximum security federal prison for some of the most dangerous inmates. It got shut down as it was too costly to continue operations and today, it is a public museum. Friends, if you are going to San Francisco, my advice really is to plan your attractions and book tickets ahead, but also take some time to explore the city spontaneously on foot. You can really find some hidden gems while getting lost. You have to pay $10.75 to drive through Pebble Beach. Is it worth it? So Shazia specifically wanted an ASMR of us eating. So these homes, you can like split them in half. You can tow them to a new destination pretty easily compared to a normal home, which you can't move at all, right? San Francisco Summertime will be a loving day In the streets of San Francisco